Hey everyone, it's Sam. I am parked in front of my house. I just got back from Costco Gas, but I am vlogging in the car. I finally got a car mount. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the cute dog next to me. Oh, that's a cute, that's the same dog that just came back with maybe her brother, but now she's walking in. Anyway, um, yeah, I just came back from Costco Gas. It was much more uh, busier than I thought it was going to be for a Thursday before noon, but wasn't, I still got in and out of there, no problem. I have found that I will never get gas at a Costco on Sundays and Mondays, so the absolute worst. I've had really great luck getting gas on Tuesday and Wednesday, um, but maybe because Labor Day weekend is coming up, that's why it was busier than usual. Yeah. Um, but I decided to get it today because I, yeah, Labor Day weekend is coming up and again, I don't want to get gas anywhere near the weekend. Uh, but I got a car mount finally. Uh, unfortunately from Timu I got it. It could only fit over here. I didn't account for all the grooves and st stuff in my car and in the middle of my Jeep, there's a pocket so I can't open it um, if the car mount is, I could if the phone is up. It's just... It was a lot, so this is the best spot. And the thing I care about is the view. You let me know if this view is good. I can still play around with it, but I don't have that much wiggle room. And <laughs> since you are in the corner, I could only fit you, I could only fit the phone vertical and not landscape. But again, I think this view is pretty good. And I'm not gonna film a lot in the car, but I thought maybe if I wanna do a makeup look or I wanna show you part of my commute, I can do it. Uh, I can do it this way as well. So let me just turn you around. There's the park. Yeah, not bad. I have a ton of other stuff to do to get ready. A lot of personal grooming that has to get done. And just, I did organize this out of my car in the trunk. I have a bunch of stuff that I brought home from the last school year that I need to bring back with me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back inside and I will try to update this vlog. Um, it's the getting ready to go back to work vlog. One of the things I need to do this weekend before work starts is to spend as much time with my dogs as possible. This is Daisy. She's two. She's a corgi. And I'm worried about her when I start work again because I've been home all summer. And she has separation anxiety. Um, so hopefully... We can go back to our regular routine again and she'll be okay. Uh, but she's a real joy. She's she's so funny and what a dog is supposed to be. And I say that because our other dog, Ava, uh, she's, she's not a dog. She's not a dog. She's more of a cat. Um, but it's funny that how they have all have different personalities. <laughs> and here's Miss Ava. Uh, she owns under the table. No one else is allowed to go under the table except for her. She is a Shiba Inu and 10 years old. Um, I'm about to walk both of them separately though. Uh, Ava first. She's a great walker. Daisy still has a lot of trouble walking and just gets distracted and wants to... Um, bark at everything and we gotta still do a lot of training with her but Ava's perfect at walking that's probably the only dog thing like about her <laughs> but she's our queen and we love her hey it is still Thursday it's in the evening I just finished eating dinner and I thought since my hair hasn't been washed in a couple of days that I would dye my hair since I've always heard um, that you should color your hair when it's dirty and this is my favorite box of hair dye. It's the Revlon Color Silk. I usually use the color natural blue black. I could, since I dye my hair black, I could really use any brand, but that one is my favorite and it's not expensive at all. I feel like some drugstore hair colors are really expensive now. Uh, but yeah, so I just do that to cover the grays. You can't really see that much because I did use uh, that lipstick from Timu, in case some of you don't know what this is. You just put that over the gray and it covers it. It does transfer though, so don't, don't like 
play with your hair and then touch like clothes or your face because you will have black marks all over um yeah and i like to do it a few days to a week before an event or if i'm going back to work it's kind of like new hair new year kind of feeling um so that is definitely one of the things that i like to do before going back to work hair dye is on i'm gonna wait about half an hour i didn't get that messy so i got some here a little bit on the floor the forehead uh and then some on my ears but not as bad as usual i did get some on my pants and i guess this i've just decided that this is going to be my hair coloring outfit uh next i i decided i'm gonna try this i might make this into a separate video I'm a little bit nervous. This is the color black and it says you can use it for eyebrows and eyelashes. I'm not going to use it on my eyelashes. I'm too scared to. Plus, my eyelashes are black already. Anyway, so I'm going to do this next and we'll see what happens. I just finished using the eyebrow tint. As you can tell, it really works a little too well. I, uh, but now I'm going to dermaplane my face a little bit because I see some peach fuzz and then some hair over here and then that's kind of I think it for uh, the grooming part of getting ready to go back to work. Before I start dermaplaning I just want to share with you the tools that I have with me. So this is one razor from Uniqlo. I really like this one for the big parts of my face. And then I also have these three from, it's from the Asian supermarket, supermarket, I forgot which one. And then I have these two new ones from Timu. This is a small razor and then this is a rechargeable one. I wanted to update you on my brows and my hair. And one of the reasons why I dye my hair a few days to a week is because of my hairline and my sideburns. I don't know if you can see the dark spots on my sideburns and then there's also dark spots around my for my hairline and if you can believe it this is probably the neatest that I've ever dyed my hair. I usually get it on my desk. There's spots on my rug, on my arms, all over my face but I did okay this time and this is all gonna fade eventually. Now for my brows this is the first time that I have tinted my brows and I don't think they look good, but I don't think they look bad either. I would say if you are planning on tinting your eyebrows with something from Timu uh, or something very similar to mine is use less product. I use too much product and then leave it on for less time, especially if you're using a darker color. I left it on though for the 10 minutes as instructed, which the directions can be found on the Timu website. They even have a video. The ending though was unclear. In the video, they wiped it off with it looked like a cloth or a paper towel, and I did that, but I still felt product in my brows. If you've ever bleached your hair, it's kind of very similar feeling. And so I went back with soap and water and then I took a shower and this is the end result. I can see some areas where it's dark like this corner here and then kind of right here. And that's due to user error. I definitely want to learn more about tinting my eyebrows and um, just trying to do it in the right way. And this, this exact product it's a screw top on both the developer and the die which makes it easier for me to practice i don't need to use the whole thing all at once and definitely i'm not going to use as much as i did uh, but yeah i'm excited to play around with it and see if i can get it to look even better uh this is definitely also going to fade it says it should last about a month or so um so I might be doing like my hair and my eyebrows every time that I, I, you know, decide to color my hair, I'll do my brows as well. Um, but I am happy with it for less than $3. I'm going to work on my brows and not bad for my first time out. And so I have done a lot of stuff to get ready for work next week. I dyed my hair, tinted my brows. 
put some white strips on my teeth, dermaplanes, did some car things. Oh, you know what I didn't mention is I self tan my legs the, for the first time in a while, and it was they were they're so pale. They're so pale. I didn't really do any beach activities or go away to somewhere tropical, um, and I normally just lounge in. I, or I just hang out in sweatpants when I'm at home and <laughs> when I go out I wear jeans so my legs don't get that much sun anyway I did that and I still have a few other things to do um, but otherwise I'm very happy I'm right on track I'm not waiting till Sunday or Monday night to do all this stuff which I'm very happy about hey it is Saturday and it's already pretty late in the day it's five ish and we were supposed to go to Costco, but Steve came back from the gym too late, and we could make it a rush trip because there's a Costco right by us. But I don't like to be rushed during my trips to Costco. I find it enjoyable when we go, and I like to walk down the aisles and look at the new things, and um, there just isn't enough time. We do need to go, though, because we need dog food and a few other toiletry essentials like toilet paper and, uh, I think, tissues. Um, but that can wait until tomorrow. I'm dreading going tomorrow, but we got to get the dog food. That's most important to me. Um, but yeah, we got to now figure out what else we're going to do this evening. I do want to maybe go to Target. I need an umbrella. My umbrella broke. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you up there. Costco and look at what they have. Wow, that's a great price for this. It's 28 ounces back from Costco and it wasn't too bad it was still crowded but it moved uh, some areas were tight uh, checkout though is always on point I feel like at Costco they do a really good job of moving people around and just getting us out of there uh, so let's start with the snacks that I found and not all of them uh, I want to get back to work and see what I'm gonna need but these are the things that I got today some peppers I'll cut them up and have them for snacking some seaweed <laughs> huge salami then this is new for us I think this is new at Costco it's the Ugly's kettle chips and we've tried them I forgot if it was Aldi or Lidl or Lidl we love these chips they're really good and they're salt and vinegar barbecue sweet potato and sea salt then we have uh, these chocolate quinoa crisp they're dark chocolate and sea salt well I'm seeing a theme lots of sea salt because wonderful sea salt and vinegar pistachios these are new for us oh and this undercover is new uh milk bar crunchy cinnamon toast cookies grapes and high chews a huge bag look at my hand i have gotten this before and it lasts forever and then the last thing is not from costco this is target i had gotten it last week there's made good uh, granola mini chocolate chip and then there are uh, what's that nature's bakery yeah nature's bakery fig bar and i have raspberry bar in there as well and i get those two brands because um in a lot of other bars they're they're made with soy there's almonds in there and i have a few allergies so i try to avoid it with bars because i find that sometimes they give me a really bad tummy ache and that is it it is still sunday it's a about nine in the evening and I waited until tonight to put stuff in the car that is not going to melt or anything so like books and pens and stuff like that that I want to bring back with me to uh, work I still have a few things that I want to show you that are not going to go into the car until Tuesday morning uh, here is food and snacks and other things that I'll probably take in this box with me why not uh, this is my work backpack and I still have to put some things in there, like my makeup bag and my charger. Um, and then here is a belt bag that I got from a family last year that I thought I might take with me to work and keep it there. And then this is water bottle, mugs, stuff that I want to put into my lunchbox that I won't put it until Tuesday. <coughs> Sorry. It is Monday and I'm loving on these pups. I got a few things done, which I'll show you. Good girl, baby. And here's Miss Ava. Hi. And then these are the frogs. They're actually going to go 
back. Um, and it'll be like the classroom's pets. And I thought maybe the kids could name them. And, but I'm not going to, I think I'll bring them on Wednesday because I just have too much stuff to bring with me tomorrow. There's, there's one tire in my car that's giving me trouble, even though there, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, so I just put air in the tire and it looks okay. And then this I'm just charging in case we need it for the future. This is all snacks and stuff. I think I uh, mentioned it to you uh, the other day uh, that I'm gonna be bringing with me and just leave it at work. That's my lunch bag. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring lunch tomorrow, um, but maybe I will. I shouldn't start off the year already buying food <laughs> um, and then there is my work backpack and I have let's see I just have a bunch of stuff in it I'm gonna need my wallet a uh, face mask maybe probably won't need it a uh, notebook a uh, small bag of like you know tissues and things like that uh, and then the front has a few things that I'm need or I just actually I don't need this stuff I just leave it in here there's a emergency pad more tissues post-its things like that um that always stays there and then my glasses and my contacts should ever need to be taken out which has happened to me before and then sunglasses and then moving on to the kitchen here's my water bottle my coffee uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring iced coffee tomorrow since it's going to be so, so hot. Uh, but that that's done. And then, let me turn you around. Hey, ooh, look at me. <laughs> totally stay-at-home day, relaxing, getting ready, obviously, for tomorrow. I have, um, like, you know, I like to bring with me allergy medicine because I do have allergies. And also, um, like, uh pain reliever like ibuprofen or something like that that I want to put into my backpack and also keep some at work um, and then now I'm gonna go upstairs and figure out my makeup maybe pick out an outfit for tomorrow or that could be later on and then um, other things because what I do is since I have to wake up so early and then I get to work kind of early and hope hoping that I get a spot um, then I'll have plenty of time to do my makeup and hair in the car uh, So I got to get all that stuff together as well. I decided on these products to bring with me This is the deodorant. I really need that uh, And then these three hair products. I just want to use them up uh, So that's why I'm bringing those and then these are the body uh, Scents that I'm bringing so two perfumes this one was a gift from school. So I kind of like to keep it at school and then these I just I thought this would be perfect it's fall in bloom and then this Burberry Brit that I am kind of halfway done with and then my makeup this is the bag that I am going to be bringing with me and there are some stuff in here that I already put in earlier or left in here and then I'm just going to be filling it up I settled on these makeup products and it is a lot um, but since I commute I just like to have everything with me and these are it uh, so there's a whole bunch of primers because I am trying to use it up and then I have a a few concealers this one I'm trying to use up it's it's just taking forever it's a cosmetics one and then I have a couple of facial sprays uh, moisturizers this one has SPF in it face powders and I don't bring foundation because <laughs> I'm I like to apply it with a beauty blender and I'm not, I'm not gonna bring a beauty blender with me so I just this is this is enough coverage if I want to go without uh, a foundation so that's perfect and then here's the blush palette that I'm bringing uh, this has bronzer and highlighter and I'll use this also if I ever want to put on uh, eye makeup or whatever um, I was gonna bring this but since I have this I'll see I'm gonna play around with it you know this the next couple of weeks are gonna be um, 
me trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work and that is also true for this stuff as well um i got some oh you know what let me start here i got eyebrow mascara eye primer eyeliner which i never use uh, maybe on the first day when the kids come i'll put that on because parents are going to be there <laughs> uh some brushes and tools this mirror that i showed for my timu haul which has a light i think that will come in handy uh, because soon it's going to be dark in the mornings and the car light is not really enough I am done cooking dinner. The meat is resting. I got a flank steak from Costco yesterday. And since I was making a salad for dinner, plus the uh, broccoli in the air fryer, which I love cooking broccoli in the air fryer. It's so easy and the broccoli is really nutty. So I added that for lunch. And I am not gonna make breakfast uh, just because I believe we're gonna have a breakfast at the school anyway and maybe I'll grab a banana or something although I don't think the bananas are ready um the last thing I have to do tonight the last couple things is pick out an outfit and take a shower that's that's it so I hope you enjoyed my get ready getting ready for work video I plan on filming either the first day of work or the first week of work back uh we'll, we'll see I hope you enjoy this and I will talk to you soon bye